Hey guys, this is Nistel and in this second part of programming the CC3D board with LibrePilot, I will show you how to properly do your transmitter setup and finally have your first ever test try. Hey, if you are new here in this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click that bell icon just side by. I would highly recommend to watch its previous video in which I had shown you the full assembly and programming of CC3D which you could find in the i button or uh, on the top right corner or in the video description. So go and check them out. Starting from the same point where the previous video has ended, click on the big yellow button to start the transmitter setup wizard. Before clicking on it, be sure that your transmitter and receiver are well bound which means that your radio transmitter should connect to the receiver on drone when both get power. If you don't know how to do it, then comment below. I will answer your questions and also clear all of your doubt. Click on next and here in this page, let the tick mark be in its default position and hit next again. Here it says to choose the correct transmitter mode and the mode 2 is selected as default. You might be thinking what the heck is this? But guys this is really simple. If you have a throttle stick or control stick with no spring on the left then it's a mode 2 transmitter but if it is in the right then it is the mode 3 transmitter. Just select it accordingly and you will be ready to rock. Click next and now you have to imitate the exact movement shown here with the transmitter. Since my transmitter is a 6 channel transmitter and after accessory 0, I skipped all other channels. Now it says to center all the sticks and hit, and hit next. All the sticks. If you have a uh, 2 way switch then you can leave it either in the up or down position, it does not matter but the 3 position or gimbal should be in the middle position. Hit next and now it says to move all stick to their maximum extent. So you should uh, you should move each stick to their end points, up to their end points. After you have done that, click on next. Here make sure that the movement of each stick on your transmitter matches up with it. If any stick move the opposite way then click on the corresponding bracket to correct them. Since everything is correct so click on next and over here just check and make sure all of your sticks go the same way as in the picture for the last time. After you do that click on next. Here you can select which way you wanna arm your drone. For the ease I am just using your right for me. You could select anything you want. After you hit save, you could go into flight mode switch settings and see if the flight mode changes when you flip the switch. If all is ok, now you can have your first test flight or at least I had thought so. Overexcited me, disconnected the USB, fixed the battery on frame, power up my transmitter and trying to see the drone response on my transmitter inputs.
The way in which it decided to break my overexcitement was really heartbreaking and profiles breaking too. Oh my god. There it goes its first flip over. Stay tuned for the next video to find out the real reason for it. Consider subscribing and leave a thumbs up on the video. Comment your thoughts. Have a good day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.